Guys, when the Nintendo president Shantaro Furukawa says anything, we have to talk about it. Because if you go to YouTube right now, go on YouTube, search Shantaro Furukawa interview, you won't find anything. There's one video of him talking at a news conference and a news outlet in Japan reported it, but you cannot hear his voice in the video. We have no evidence of Shantaro Fur Furukawa being able to speak. So we have to, 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 to read what he said here. So, long story short, the president of Nintendo, Shantaru, has talked about the Switch. He's talked about Pal World, the big Pokemon killer game that caused all the controversy and ruckus. We have him talking about Switch, the Zelda movie. We have a lot of cool things here. So we have four highlights of the interview. If you want to read the entire thing where he was asked like nine to nine to like 10 questions, I'll have it linked down below if you want to read the entire thing. But a lot of it is boring, so I didn't put it in here. It's boring and long, so it just didn't make the cut for the show. But once again, it is down below. That actually rhymed. All right, let's read the first thing. So somebody asked him, someone asked him, what are your thoughts on the difference between Nintendo Switch and past consoles? Now, he does say a few cool things in here. That sounds like, like, a, like a boring question, but his response is fun and long. Let's read it. I quote from Mr. Shantaro Furukawa. The major difference between Nintendo Switch and past platforms is that we have integrated a handheld system and a home console system, which in the past were two separate platforms. That allowed software development resources to be concentrated on a Nintendo Switch. We have been able to release a, a continual stream of new titles, and one result is a longer life cycle compared to, pla to past platforms. Looking to the future, the most important thing for Nintendo is that we provide people with distinctively Nintendo entertainment that is fun and surprising in new ways. At the current time, we believe that our integrated hardware, software, de dedicated video game platform business is the optimal way to continue to offer our unique entertainment. And that policy will continue to guide our research and development initiatives going forward. Another difference from past platforms is that we have been working with DNA to spread the use of Nintendo account since before the launch of the Switch. Nintendo accounts are an important touch point for maintaining long-term connections with our consumers. They can be used when consumers migrate to new hardware. Furthermore, they are also an important way for us to reconnect with people who have been taking a break from video games and for a while, and then at some point become interested in the unique entertainment that, that, that Nintendo has, has to offer. From that perspective, I believe that Nintendo accounts will continue to be important moving forward. So, all this Nintendo account stuff. Now, why is that interesting? A lot of you guys might have been, been listening and be like, Max, you said this wasn't boring. Why is that at all interesting? I think it's interesting because of this. If you guys remember previously, I believe it was the last time that he did an interview like this, uh, he talked about how he wants there to be a smooth transition between Switch 1 and Switch 2. And he said that he wants it to be through Nintendo account. I believe that the entire Nintendo account thing, like with platinum points and like the online rewards and stuff, I think the use of that is only going to go up. He wants everything to be on Nintendo account. And it makes great sense if you heard what like he was saying, how, you know, if like the, the, the casual mobile gamer that downloads Mario Kart Tour, they, I believe, have to make a Nintendo account. They will then get emails to their account saying, hey guys, Switch 2 came out. Like, it's a perfect way. And I think that the usage of it will only become bigger and bigger. And that could mean new things on my Nintendo. That could mean a very quick setup process on the Switch 2, that can mean a whole lot of things. So I'm excited to see further what that means. Now, we have two other small things, uh, and then one thing that we have to dive into. The next thing is he was asked if there were any updates on the Legend of Zelda movie, which was announced in November of 2023. 
and it was a big ruckus causer. A, 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 a big controversial, not controversial, a big buzz in the Nintendo community. Let's go ahead. What does he have to say on the, on the Zelda movie, and can he give us any inside details? Quote, We announced in November last year that we had started development of a live-action film of The Legend of Zelda. Shigeru Miyamoto, executive fellow and representative, director of Nintendo, and Avi Arad, chairman of Arad Productions, Inc., who has produced many mega-hit films, will be co-producing this film. Currently, we cannot discuss the release date or content of the movie, so please wait for, for, uh, for, for, for future updates. I thought it said further updates. Uh, yeah, we can't talk about Zelda movie. Honestly, I'd be surprised if we didn't hear about it ever again this year. I think this year we definitely hear something. Do I think there's a trailer for it? Heck no. I don't think that we even see the trailer trailer this year. But I would like something like what the Mario movie had. So once they get their actors for the movie, what they did. So so let's let's go back to I believe 2022, I think. Uh, Nintendo, it might have been earlier than that. Nintendo revealed the actors for the Mario movie in a Nintendo Direct. That's what I want this year. I want in a Direct to tell me who is acting in the Legend of Zelda movie. That's that's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. I want some update, and I want to know the actors. Because when you're making a movie, you need actors. So, I mean, like, what else are you going to do? You know? Whether it's voice actors or live animation or live action actors, right? You need somebody. Let us know who it is. That's all I want. But he can't even talk about it. So, understandable understandable he can't dive deep into that but guys it gets even deeper because somebody asked him what do you think of pal world now if you don't know what pal world is it was a game that came out recently that is essentially a pokemon clone some say better some say worse okay and Nintendo is, or rather, the Pokemon Company is investigating them to see if they used any of Pokemon's assets. If they did, Nintendo can sue, as they do. That rhymes. But he was asked about it, and what's the status? So, he, simple business answer from Shantaro Furukawa. All he said on that was, We will take appropriate action against those that infringe our intellectual property rights. Done. That's all he said. So he knows about it. He's certainly aware of Pal World and the, uh, you know, the controversy around that game and Pokemon. He ain't saying much. And let me tell you, that's a, that that that's a great response. That's a scary response. If you're Pal World, you're pooping bricks, okay? Because he's coming for you. I'm kidding. I have no idea. I mean, maybe he's maybe he's involved. Maybe he isn't. But Nintendo versus Pal World is a story to follow. Great business response. Speaking of business, guys, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, we're good. Okay. I know how to stop sneezes. That's a great talent of mine. Anyways, we don't have a direct quote for this next piece of news, but we do have... A piece of news that has been verified from Nin from Nintendo, and it's a big thing to discuss. So, it has been said from Nintendo that their main business for 2024 is going to be the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people read that and think, "Oh man, Switch Two is not is not you know coming out until next year, 25." Okay. That's what people think when they read this. Now, I'm here to tell you that's probably not the case. Here's why. Okay. Last year, we heard that there will be no new hardware the entire year. And that was right. Shantaro Furukawa told us that there will be no new hardware 
this year. So that, that means no Switch 2, no Switch Pro, whatever it is, Super Switch, whatever. Now, he didn't say that this time. He did not say it. There, there will be no new hardware. If he said that, yeah, we're probably screwed. He didn't say that. He said, well, you know, we have a Switch 2 coming out, but how can I make it sound like what we that you know we 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 don't have one? Uh, Nintendo's main business will be the Switch 2. Uh, sorry, sorry, Switch 1. Guys, if the main business was Switch 1 until July, and then the Switch 2 was the focus after that, he can say that the Switch 1 is their main business. Because it was for 7 out of the 12 months, and then the next half is Switch 2 focus. It doesn't have to be like that. But the thing is, you can have a Switch 2 and not have that be your main business. You have tons of games already announced for Switch 1 coming out this year. Paper Mario. You have Luigi's Mansion. You already had another code. You have Mario vs. Donkey Kong. You have Princess Peach Showtime. Can I point one thing out for all for all, all, all of you guys though who don't think Switch 2 is coming out this year? And I'm, and I'm, I'm not trying to argue. I'm not trying to argue at all. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue, but do you see that four out of five of those games are remakes? That's insane! They don't want to make anything new right now. They've put all their time into 3D Mario and God knows whatever else is, is coming up on the next console. Animal Crossing, Mario Kart, whatever. Four out of five of your games announced this year are remakes. And they're great remakes. They're awesome. I'm excited for Mario Donkey Kong. I'm excited for Luigi's Mansion 2. I'm excited for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. But Switch 2 doesn't... It's, it's, it's not going to be their main business because they're going to release it in the later half of the year. If you release it in October, that's not your main business. That's your business 10 months in. So, no, it's, it's not the main business. He's saying that to confuse you, to surprise you, to, to make you still buy Switch games, even though Switch 2 is coming out later this year. Is that factual? No. Is that what this has to be? Yes. If, once again, if they release it in September, October, that's not their main business. Switch was already. <laughs> so, no. If they release one or not, Switch will be their main business either way. So, don't let that little piece of news, that little blurble, think, make you think that there's no Switch 2 news this year. Because there will be. Attention, can you hear me? The clip that you just watched from my podcast, The Mario Matter, your favorite Nintendo podcast, has just ended. If you want to see the full episode, click right here. If you want to subscribe to this channel or my main channel, click one of these channels down here. It's all great stuff. Adios from another life.